Good morning, MX Fluxbox users. This is Jerry3904 with another installment of Tips and Tricks. This is number three on the new package MXFB goodies. Before I get into that, a quick bit of news. We updated the uh, MXFB docks with a new section on the traditional toolbar, Tint 2, and also updated the art package with a couple of excellent uh, new wallpapers uh, by one of our users. Very nicely done. So before we get into this, if you are trying to follow this, please make sure that you have um, updated uh, very recently. You should be able to type in uh, into the um, manual. You should be able to type in apt policy MXFB goodies and have it return and tell you that you have version 20.10.03. That'll tell you that you're up to date and this will make sense today. Um, this is the first release of this new package. Its purpose is to provide optional uh, scripts and applications for testing for users. So that said, let's uh, close it down and get to work. Okay, first we have to get the thing. So uh, it's an optional package. It won't come automatically so that um, if you want to get it, you've got to install it in the usual way. You can use Synaptic or you can use um, the, the uh, drop-down terminal and you do just write sudo apt install mxfb and you can do a double tab here g goodies sudo apt install mxfb dash goodies and that will install it. I've already got it installed, but that will install it, and you can um, then you can then go ahead. So F4 to get rid of my mo my monitor. Don't show this message again. Um, so uh, let's take a look at once it's installed. The four uh, components of the MXFB goodies uh, do not have desktop files. So they will not show up in an ordinary menu. But we have our handy dandy little Rofi. So I can click F2 to get Rofi. And I have to get off desktop files. So I'm going to click on Run. And now I'm just going to type MXFB. And there we go. Those are the four um, applications, the four scripts that were installed when we, when we put in that uh, package. I'm going to start with the one down at the bottom. I'm going to arrow down to Tiles and hit Return. We bring this back up to the middle where you can see it. So this is going to back up your current keys file. Then it's going to install a set of commands so that you can tile your windows. It's going to put those at the end of the file. And here are the hints. It's very easy to remember you're going to be using the Control key. And then you can type 1 through 4 to uh, cover either the, what you'll see, to cover half the screen. Then you can do 5 through 8 for a quarter of the screen. Control 9 gives you one third of the screen vertically. And then Control 0 will bring you back to maximize it. So that's really all there is to it. So I'm going to just click OK. And it refreshes. I can check and take a look at my keys file. It backed up the keys. Here's the keys file. And down at the bottom, we'll find the basic window tiling. So it installed that whole bit of code. So now we can go ahead and run it. Since I've actually got this thing open, why don't I run through a few things? Let me try Control-1. There's half the file on the left. Control-2, half the screen on the right. Control-3, top. Control-4, bottom. Control 5, quarter screen left. Control 6, quarter screen right. Control 7, quarter screen uh, lower left. 8 and 9, there's one third the screen, which is pretty handy. Um, so we've got that basic tiling going on. Uh, let's show a couple of use scenarios. For instance, we are often dealing with the init file. Um, let me do settings, configure, init. And we get, uh, I already did this, but uh, I can do control, um, control 9. And now I can read the entire file, enormous amount at a time, without having to resize it or move it. 
Um, if I needed more space, I could I could jump it up to control to a quarter of the screen. Uh, but control nine is nice because now I have two thirds of the screen to put other things that I want to work on at the same time. So that's that's a very handy file to be looking at that way. So for instance, if I wanted to use a browser, but I didn't want it to occupy the whole screen, I could fire up Firefox here and I could put it on control nine to put it. Let me show you where it, I'll get control zero to give me. There's what it when it occupies the whole screen. But if I want to do something else, then I can go uh, control nine. That's sorry, one third. I can go control four, the bottom half. And now um, I can use the upper half, but I can still see all the width I need for a browser. So that's quite handy when I want to get a little bit more space. Instead of resizing and everything else, I can just use that command. Okay, let's move on to another one. I'm going to uh, do my same Rofi trick, F2, click on the run. I type on MXFB and I'm going down to appearance for this one. Let's take a look at appearance. Appearance is pretty neat. It provides a um, the same thing in graphical form that the uh, appearance uh, menu does. So it it's, it's enables you to either, if you prefer visual, or to connect it with something like the dock or a, a traditional a uh, traditional toolbar or even an icon, you could use it this way. And so this reading from left to right, this is Conky Manager here, it kicks up Conky Manager. Uh, this is MX Dock Maker. This is the, these are the desktop icons. This allows you to choose the style, the way the windows, the way this window looks with the rounded corners and the blue. This would allow you to choose a different, uh, different style. Um, this will give you your theme choices. This will toggle the toolbar. Um, I might as well do it just for fun. So there's the traditional toolbar now down at the bottom. And this will take you for a wallpaper choice. It's using nitrogen, a very nice, uh, a very nice um, application that gives us a nice easy way. So you can just double click that and click apply, um, and you're all done. And so it's it's very handy. It's nice to use, and it's something that gives you a graphic option. Uh, this could be, I say, added to a dock or to the toolbar on the bottom, and it's an icon somewhere. So. There you go, it's a good one to try. Going back to Rofi for our third one, we'll go D Rofi F2, we're gonna type in MXFB and go down to recent files. This is a very simple one, but it's quite handy. It's gonna show you all the files that you've used in the last 30 days. Now I'm never on this laptop, so it's probably not gonna show me anything. But you're going to know it shows you a few things. So here, here are the recent files that I've been on. This is just in the last hour or so. And it's handy when you're trying to find something that you know, you know about, but you can't quite remember where it was. And it's sorted by use, but you can click here, and then it's sorted by path. So it's very simple. It's something that's very handy, and uh, you may well find it very, very useful. It's something that could be put into the menu, for instance. You could insert it in the menu. Okay, last time to our friend Mr. Rofi. We're going to take a look at the last one that we have, XB, down to separate backgrounds. This is pretty self-explanatory, but this is going to allow you to figure separate backgrounds for each workspace. When you so select it, as you go through it, it'll pop up to ask you to select for the, the background that you want to use. If you want to jump just to MXFB backgrounds, just begin typing MXFB and it'll jump to those. And then you select the one you want and click OK. There's a couple of hints down there that um, you might want to pay attention to. They're not critical here right at the moment. But in the bottom are the three, com three command buttons to set, set it up, to disable it, and then I could just cancel out of this. So let's, let's set it up. And this is for workspace one, and I'm going in fact to, to go MXFB, and there I get, you um, have to expand if we want to see more, but I know what that is. So I'm going to choose that one for my first one. This is workspace two, 
I'll try, I'll do MXFB again, and I'll choose, I kind of like this, this one. And then Workspace 3, uh, I still want to use a branded one. So I'm going to choose um, uh, those gray cubes are kind of neat. So I'll say OK to that. And then now when I scroll through the desktop, you'll see that I've got, um, I've got in fact, a separate wallpaper for each one. So it's pretty neat. Um, so those are the four elements of the MXFB goodies in this version. I hope you've enjoyed seeing it. I hope you'll give them a try. There is a, um, a feedback, there is a blog up called MX Flux Flux Releases. You know how to go to the main web page and click on news. It'll be at the top of that. And there's a blog with details if you've sort of forgotten some of the wonderful things that I have said. There's also a feedback forum, uh, feedback forum on the forum um, called MX Goodies Feedback. You can see it's in the MX Fluxbox dedicated uh, sub forum there. And if you've got reactions, uh, problems, or whatever else, we'd love to hear back from you. That's one of the main reasons that uh, we're doing this. And uh, finally, I want to say, uh, give a shout out to uh, MX Fluxbox user PPC. He did a lot of coding and uh, uh, criticism and suggestions for this project, and we really appreciate it. It's nice when developers and users can combine. So take care. I'll see you next time.